right, so I'm going to talk uh, a little bit about how to install the FTDI USB drivers that are needed to connect to your MS3, MS3 Pro, or MS3 Pro plug-and-play ECU over the USB connection. Um, if you are using a serial connection with any of our ECUs, could be MS1, 2, 3, MicroSquirt, any of it, um, and you're using a USB adapter, preferably our USB 2920 adapter that uses the FTDI chipset, then these instructions will uh, be applicable to you as well. So if you go to Google and search for FTDI drivers MS3 Pro is one way to find it. There's, another, there's a number of ways, but it's a good way to find it. Google search. All right, top link, software and downloads DIY Autotune. Let's go there. Let me blow this up so you can maybe see it better. And if I scroll down on this page, you will see drivers for other DIY Autotune offered hardware, USB drivers, Windows. We're going to download that. I'm using Chrome, so when I download that in Chrome, it puts it on a little tab down here. If you're using a different browser, it might save it in another manner. One way or another, you want to get to wherever it saved that file. And I'm going to choose Show in Folder here. That brought up a folder on another screen. Let me bring it over here. All right, so now I've got this USB Drivers Windows file here. I'm going to drag it. I'm going to use my right mouse button. Click on it, hold the click, drag, release. And I'm going to choose Extract. We're going to hit Extract. And I don't know if you saw an extra line pop up back here, but it's extracting those. It created a new folder for it. All right, so now we have the FTDI driver file, the CDM 2.02.04, parentheses 1. Um, I'm going to double-click that, run. And Windows 7 is going to prompt me for permission. I'm going to say yes. It's still working in the background. That little doo doo is Windows installing a driver and activating it successfully generally. Now, if I want to look um, and see what communications ports my computer can see, because that's important, I'm going to go over here. I clicked Start and I went to Computer. Um, I'm going to right click Computer, right mouse button, and then click Manage with the left mouse button. And that's going to bring up my device manager here. From there, I can see what ports are available. This shows a USB serial port is available. It is not assigned a COM port to it. Oh, it's refreshing though. It sees something's happening now. There you go. See how it's assigned COM3? You may want to remember that. Um, there are two ways to connect to the ECU, and one of them is via a virtual COM port like this. Another one is through what's called D2XX, which is generally the preferred way. So once this is done installing that driver package, I don't need this window anymore. And I won't need this window anymore either. I just want to remember this is COM3. And I can close this. And hopefully that covers adequately how to install the FTDI drivers for our MS3 based products as well as for the USB 2920 adapter that you may be using with one of our older MS1 or MS2 based products. Follow us on our next video for how to set up a Tuner Studio project and connect to your ECU for the first time. Stay tuned.